Hey everybody, I hope this video finds you well and enjoying your weekend. I'm having a blast this weekend because I'm hanging out here with my mom and my dad who are visiting from Ohio. But if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Christopher and this is Gloria. And if you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare product reviews, planning and organization, look nowhere else my friends because this channel is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and if you're following me here, go ahead and hop over to my Instagram. <laughs> and follow me over there as well. We have an awesome community building over there and I'd love to catch up with you um, over there as well. But I'm here with my mama today and you guys love what's in my bag videos. So we are going to do a what's in my bag video with my mom. Mom, do you want to introduce yourself? My name's Gloria and I'm Christopher's mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, she is pretty much the most amazing mother you could ever have and I love her with all of my heart and thank you for all the feedback on yesterday's vlog. You guys love seeing us sing in the car together and try to relentlessly open a, 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 a Coke bottle. Um, if you missed that vlog, I'll go ahead and leave it linked down below, but we're going to dive in. And you guys also asked my mom some very thoughtful questions that she's very nervous about answering over on Instagram. So as we go through her bag, I'm also going to ask some of those questions. Mom, are you okay with that? Sure. Okay, so mom, the first question is, you want an easy one to start? Easy one. Okay. Um, tell us the funniest thing Christopher did when he was growing up. Well, there's quite a few funny things. One that comes to mind is... Oh, hold on, Mom. Stop, dogs! Oh, God. Here, we're gonna make it work. You're gonna hear dogs uh, barking in the background. We have three dogs in the house right now, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. Alright, Mom, we're gonna start with an easy one. Tell us one funny thing that Christopher did growing up. Chris was always playing with action figures and <laughs> acting like he was an action figure. <laughs> and the one time he came around the corner of our living room with his gun out <laughs> and did a somersault towards his sister and his foot hit our coffee table. This isn't really funny, I guess. It's funny now. His foot hit our coffee table and he broke his little toe. <laughs> We laugh about it. Well, it was funny then, too. It was funny then. <laughs> but there was a lot of funny things. They should also know when I dressed up as a superhero, I often tucked a t-shirt yes. into underwear. Yes. <laughs> yes, that was his, uh, my superhero his wardrobe. Uniform. Yeah, his wardrobe is t-shirts and underwear. Oh my goodness. And then another, we'll do one more question and then we'll dive into okay. your bag. Um, let's find, um, what would you say is your number one essential that you have to have in your bag, but you can't say your wallet or phone? Uh, probably my reading glasses, because I couldn't see anything without my reading glasses. I take them, my cheaters, I take them everywhere. Okay. All right. So we are going to dive into the bag. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your bag? Yes. My son bought me this, and I love it. What's the brand? Uh, Spartina. Spartina? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, this is a Spartina bag. You got it. You got it at a shop here in... In Rochester, Rochester. Um, yeah, it was at a little boutique. It's a really cool bag. I'm gonna hold it up so you can kind of see the print. What's really interesting about Spartina, if you guys go online, they also sell planners and agendas and notebooks. And a shout out to my friend Haley Cairo. They have a bunch of mermaid planners and organizers, and I know how much you love mermaids, so you should definitely go check yeah, it out. This bag's perfect. Um, now you are weird about bags. You yes. don't care about the. No. Tell, tell us about the your thought around bags because you're very picky. I don't care about the brand. Of course, I love Coach, and my son keeps me in Coach bags. But I don't care about the brand. It's just it has to fit on my shoulder right when I walk. It has to not have everything clumped together. I have to have little compartments to put everything. But this bag is perfect for that. So I'm going to ask a real honest question because a lot of them know that I bought you the Monsor Gabrielle yes. bucket bag. Yes. And that is I just, love it. you do? Because I, I would it. think that doesn't have enough organization no, but for I you. I love it. I love it. I love the way it hangs on my shoulder. I love the way it feels. Now, do you just do one shoulder or do you do crossbody sometimes? I don't like crossbody. Okay. Too, too constricting. Yeah, I don't like it. All right, so we're gonna jump into her Spartina bag, and if we were saying it wrong, we apologize. Yeah. But um, go ahead and tell us, pull something out, and we'll talk uh, about it. Okay. 
anything. And here's my readers, my cheaters. Where do you buy your readers at? Anywhere. The cheaper, the better, because <laughs> I have them all over my house. How many pairs of readers do you think you have? Oh, at least 12, okay. 11, 12. Why do you need so many? Because I have them everywhere. I forget where I put them, so I have one in every room. I like these. They're very kind of like chic and yeah, that's me. streamlined. <laughs> you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else you got in there? Oh, Just pull out anything. Wallet. Where did you buy your wallet at? Uh, to tell you the truth, I got that online. And what made you choose? What What do you have, have to have in a wallet? Yeah, I have to have a. Usually, my, all my wallets are the zipper, the the what do they call them, zipper round. Yes. I think. And they have to have a huge coin department. One thing you should know about my mom. Because I have I saved my change. <laughs> no matter where we go, like if I'm checking out or she's checking out, she'll be like, hold on. And she will count change. out the exact yeah. change every single time. So I have to have a large chain. Now, did you purposely, change. do you have a bunch of different wallets that you use yes. this one to match? Okay. I use it to match. Okay. I have all my wallets match my purse. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, that's one thing I never do. Like, my wallet never oh, matches Oh, I have your father's wallet. <laughs> because and his it, money is your money. And yes, your <laughs> yes, and he can't stand it in his pants pocket. So my mom carries my dad's wallet because her money is her money and his yeah. money is her money. Yeah, exactly. That's the way it should be. Uh, my car keys. Car keys. Oh, wait, wait, what loyalty cards do you have? Kroger's, Pet Supply, Rite Aid. Steak and Shake, <laughs> CS Pharmacy, Bilo, Petco, you can tell you have a spoiled dog. Yeah. Harris Teeter, yes, I got because that. when you're visiting yes. sis, and when you live down Panera, there. Wegman, <laughs> you have all Wegman. your kids grocery stores covered, <laughs> Giant Eagle, and I don't know what that is, is that just to the car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, I have my checkbook cover <gasps> with hummingbirds in honor of my mother, uh, Chris's grandmother. They all know about my love for hummingbirds. Yeah. They know about why we have it on the channel. And even your checks have hummingbirds yeah, on them. My checks have hummingbirds. Oh my goodness. See, uh, the hummingbird is all through our family yeah. now. Yeah. What are those? Them are your father's glasses. <laughs> he can't live without. He has to wear them when he eats. He can't eat without his glasses. Why can't he eat without his know. glasses? Ask him. <laughs> is he nervous he won't see what he's eating? <laughs> Maybe. Batteries for your dad's hearing aid. <laughs> wait, wait. Why does he have to have so many batteries? Do you not recharge them, or do they? No, they're like, not rechargeable. So, like, once they're gone, yeah, he can't they're hear. Gone, they're gone. Do you ever purposely lose them so he can't no. hear? <laughs> he can't hear with the hearing aid anyway. Kleenex. Kleenex I always have the same ones. Uh, oh, this is my little personal bag. All right. So let's. Where did you get this personal bag at? Uh, I don't remember, Chris. I've had it so long. All right, so what do you carry in there? Advil. Okay. Uh, body lotion. Oh, black pearl. Yeah, I like that. Oh, where's this from? I like it because it does, it smells like really. It's like not super it's not strong. strong. No. I like that, Mom. Uh, you never know when you'll need a tape measure. <laughs> That was my mother's. Why would you, why a tape measure? Know. Did she always keep know. a tape measure in her yes. purse? Yes, yes. Huh. Roll aids. Well, that's necessary. <laughs> uh, little flashlight. Okay. This is a pretty good, like, go-to kit. A tape measure actually does make a lot of sense yeah, to you Yeah, we never know. Because if you're, you're measuring a piece of furniture, right, right. you could tech, like, I could text Steven and be like, hey, will this fit in that spot? Tweezers. Pair tweezers, you never know when your eyebrows go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. That's very true. Yeah. Unless you have just, a mind that had no tails anyway. Just throat lozenges and extra pills for your dad. So no makeup in your bag? No makeup in my bag. Do you ever wear makeup? No. I, I, think I wear fun. a little bit of blush and mascara sometimes. For church? And um, lipstick when I'm really <laughs> dressing up. No foundation, you don't need any of that. You don't really have anything that you would need to cover up. You have really good skin. I don't wear anything like that. Not even like a lip gloss or a chapstick on like a daily? No. Look at you. <laughs> uh, what else is in your bag? This is all natural. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it's pretty great. Do you have anything else in there or is that no, it? No, because I cleaned my bag out before I came. Okay. Oh, I have a key to the house. Okay. A key to the house and a pen. Oh. That's it, because I cleaned out. I love, but like you have literally everything you would need. I have everything I need right here in this beautiful bag. Now, is there anything you would keep, is there anything you would add besides this stuff, or is this legit all you would need like to go out for the day? And this is all I'd need. 
That's amazing. Because one thing that they will all tell you about me is that like, I literally carry everything in the kitchen sink in my bag. If we were here, there would be a pile of stuff. I'm sure. Because A, my work day is so long that I just take right. so much with me. Um, awesome. All right, we are going to ask a couple more questions okay. just because um, they have lots of questions for you. Um, so, one that I want to ask is, when did you realize or what was the one thing that Christopher did that made you realize that he was truly a blessing? Oh, he was born. Aww. He's been a blessing our whole life. I'm so proud of him. Now, was he a perfect little angel or no. was he a stinker? No, he was a stinker. Why? You were, I shouldn't say a stinker, you were curious. You wanted to see how everything worked, what made everything work, and then why hide something was there, <laughs> yeah, and hide it under your bed, why something was there, why it worked. You were just a curious, I say curious, not a stinker. You were just active. All right, now this next question, I don't want us to get emotional. Okay. But they did ask because they talk about grandma so much. Okay. It was, um, can you explain what Christopher and his grandma's relationship was like? Hmm. Like no other. Uh-uh. They were best buddies. Yeah. And I know his grandma, um, they just understood each other. Mm -hmm. I think he, Chris could tell his grandma anything. Oh, and, and did. I did. And you did. And she was the most accepting and most wise woman. Mm -hmm. She had a lot of good advice. Oh, the best. Yeah, she loved her boy. Yeah, she was, she was literally, you, I would say like you and her are my best friends. Yeah. Um, and what's so lucky about that relationship is like it has left us with so many good yeah. memories to hold on to, which I think is like a blessing. Yes. Because like there's not many things that go by in my day to day life because we, we shared so her. much that um yeah, she's she's just the She was special. She was really special. Um uh, that was a great question. Thank you so much for asking that. Um, another really great question was, uh, they know about a lot of my bullying yes. experiences through school. Now you're so, going to make me cry. No, don't cry. What do you think you did as parents? Because you guys, lots of kids don't get through it. Yeah. So what do you think there's something you did or showed that kept my confidence up? I don't know if we did anything. We just loved you. And... That was a heartbreaking time. It really was. It was heartbreaking as a parent. And you're helpless. There's nothing you can do. You go to the school, you talk to everybody, and it just falls on deaf, deaf ears. Well, in no, our situation, we even transferred yes, school a couple times. Yes, we transferred times. to a Christian school because I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore. So he went there a few years. But he's a, it was you that got through that time. You are a resilient boy. What advice would you give to a parent whose kid might be dealing oh, with that? Just, I don't know, just do, do all you can do. Be there to support them. Um, try to make a change if you can. I know some people can't do that, but try to make a change if you can and, and just, just love them and support them. I think one thing that I would also add to that, I remember very distinctly in high school when the apple got smashed against yeah. my head and we had to go Your to the doctor. Yeah. Um, the, I remember very clearly coming off the bus and you guys wouldn't let me not yeah. tell you what was happening. Because right. mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, nothing, it's fine. And you guys kept questioning. Yeah, so you got to you gotta keep after your kids. Be involved in your kids' mm -hmm. lives and find, find out what's going on with them every day. I think that's... That, I think, was, that was a hard time. All right, here's another one. What do you think about my YouTube channel? I love it. <laughs> I do. I love it. Especially when his ones he when he goes on his trips, I just I told him I just feel like I'm there with him. Like I feel like I've been there and seen these things myself. I just think I think it's fantastic. And we actually watched a bunch of uh, videos last night on YouTube. We like basically yeah, relived our whole Amsterdam yeah. and Belgium trip. And I just love that. It makes me just feel like I've been there. All right, so I'm gonna ask you about three more questions and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Um, what do you think you're most proud of Christopher doing or accomplishing so far? Oh, I'm proud of everything, but his, his work ethic, 
um, his love for people and to be interact with people, his love for children, uh, just his every, his daily life. I'm mean, just proud of him, all that he's accomplished, and what he's rose up from. You know. If I was born a girl, what would my name have been? I think your dad loves summer. Can't imagine <laughs> that we would ever. <laughs> Think of a name like that. That's so like trendy. Yeah, it like, was then. For, for, yes, in the 80s, that's super trendy. But your dad, we just talked to him about that last night and we were trying to think and he said, yeah, Summer is what he, we would have named him. Um, another question that actually came up several times and Steph, you asked this one was, what is like your favorite like body fragrance or candle? Like what are scents that you like gravitate towards? Mm, more like, um, like a woodsy woodsy smell like um i'm trying to think of some of the ones i have at home um bergamot i yes. like that the scents like that you I like, like i don't you, like flowery or, or like a vin like for a candle you'll do like a vanilla or something yes. that you would never wear like no, a vanilla no. cakey no. sweet smell you're definitely like smokier Man, yeah woodsy yeah um has he always gone by christopher no no some of my nicknames. i think i think just in his professional life he started using Christopher. Yeah. But he's been called Chris, Pete, Pete Bud. <laughs> Buddy. Yeah. And some names we can't repeat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is on this is on YouTube. Yeah. You can't repeat I, I all can't of the names repeat, I've been yeah. called. Um, all right, this is a great question. Did your uh, they know about sis. So yeah. did we fight as kids? Yeah, you did and you didn't. You just got along good, but there was moments. I can remember <laughs> your bedrooms were down the hall from each other, and I always knew when you were fighting because I'd see you walk down the hall with a armful of all her stuff that was in your room, and you'd put it in her, you'd, you'd throw it in her room, and she'd do the same, so I knew you were on the outs. But basically, used, for a brother and sister, you just got along pretty good. I would agree. Two more questions, Mom, I promise, and then we'll be done. Okay. Um, I have to ask Joanne's question because I think this is a really great one that uh, it kind of echoes what a lot of people ask. What would your mom say was one of the most important things she dedicated herself to doing to set you up for success in life? Like, when you became mm -hmm. a mom, because, let's face it, your childhood wasn't the easiest. No, no, um, so, like, when you thought... Probably of, that's why I worked so hard to raise you kids. Not that I was raised bad. No, I just didn't have, amazing. Yeah, I just didn't have the opportunities. Mm -hmm. I wanted you kids to have all the opportunities you could have in life. And you both, both have succeeded at that. Mm -hmm. And I'd say faith's a big thing. Yeah. You both have your faith. And, mm -hmm. and we made sure of that when you were growing up. That that was part of our daily life. Alright, and then the last question. Tell us... Any story about Christopher that either means a lot or still makes you laugh to this day? Something ridiculous? Anything? What sticks with me all the time is the fun we have when we're together. Mm -hmm. Like, when we're... Because <laughs> we, are, we are buddies. We are. But when we drive in a car, he'll, he always knows what kind of me, my favorite music. And he'll turn my music on and we sing together. Sing, <laughs> sing, we sing as loud as we can <laughs> sing. I harmonize, he sings. There's been road trips where we've gotten out of the car hoarse. Yes, from there has singing. been. Yeah. Can you tell them? I mean, them? that don't seem important. No. Them things are important. Can you to tell me. them about us being pulled over the Yes. Tell them the story about us being pulled we over were by coming the cops. Home, we were coming home from a shopping trip one time and coming down the highway, and we were singing our hearts out. I think it was the Carpenters. I think it was. Because that's my favorite. Yes. We were singing our hearts out, and Chris said, Mom, there's a cop coming. <laughs> he has his lights on. We got pulled over. He come up and he said, do you know how fast you're going? I said, no. And he said, did you know you were speeding? I said, probably. <laughs> and he said, well, you know, I said, well, I'll be quite honest with you. My son and I were singing. <laughs> and I said, I had no clue how fast I was going. He says, well, I really appreciate your honesty, but he still gave me a ticket. <laughs> We just, just times like that. We have so many times together where we just, it doesn't have to be anything exceptional. It's just our little things that we always do uh -huh. with each other. I, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. 
mom, thank you so much for doing You're this. Welcome. See, it wasn't as bad as I told, like she was so worried about doing this. But no, it, it wasn't, it was quite painless. So oh. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here. Um, I wanna thank you all for submitting your questions because they were great. They were fun. They were yeah. fun. Um, and sorry we couldn't get to all of them, but there were just so many. And to keep her on camera for a long yeah, period of time will be, <laughs> will be tough. But um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I am so excited to have shared this experience with my mom. It's another one we can add to the bucket list of things we've done. In the meantime, I will let you all go the same way I let you go every single video. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye. I love you. Bye.